And then usually a good cleanup is to go ahead and delete that. And you just do no keychain and then with the keychain name and that'll remove it. So right now on router one, if I do a show run, include service pass. Okay, so we don't have password encryption enabled right now. But what we did is we went in and enabled it and we had a number of existing passwords. Those are currently encrypted and we showed that earlier. I can do it real quick again here. It won't catch all of them because it won't catch the keystrings, but basically everything is still encrypted. So now if I do a username, fake user, password, fake pass, is that going to end up in the running configuration encrypted or not? Now remember, we don't have this turned on. We have it disabled. So can you have a mixture of encrypted and non-encrypted passwords is basically the question. And we'll see the answer in just a second here. Booyah. While it doesn't decrypt passwords by specifying the no service password encryption, once something is encrypted, it's gonna stay in the running configuration encrypted. Any new passwords that you create will not be encrypted, so keep that in mind. And we can easily see what type of encryption has been used with a password. So in this case, uh, enable password, we see a seven and then it's followed by a string of hexadecimal. So we know that this is a type seven password, so that's the Visionaire cipher. If it was plain text, obviously we would, oh, here we go, I'm sorry, I knew I had one here. So if it's followed by a zero, we know that this is plain text. If there is a five, you're usually going to see secret in there. I can't think of a case where you wouldn't, but five means that this is stored as an MD5 hash. So when you're configuring commands, if I do a username, fake user two, password, and then invoke the, whoops, okay, let me try that again, invoke the iOS help, you can see that you have uh, three options here. Line, basically don't type line in there. Uh, that means just go ahead and put in the clear text password. You can see that right here. Zero, you can go ahead and type a zero and then put in the clear text password. Really, you don't need to do this. That's just adding a couple extra characters. Seven specifies that a hidden password will follow. And as I mentioned in the theory portion, something that people confuse is they think that, oh, okay, well, you know what I want to do? In this case, we don't have uh, password encryption enabled. So if we were to put in a password, it would not be encrypted. So sometimes people say, well, I do want this encrypted. So I'm going to go in and type seven to specify that I want this encrypted and then put in my password. So we're putting the clear text version of the password and then specifying iOS to go ahead and apply the type seven visionaire cipher to that hit enter oh well what the hell oh maybe it's because I use password I can't use password and a password it doesn't really come up and tell you exactly what you're doing wrong but what's going on here is that when you specify seven iOS is expecting you to put in an already encrypted password already a password that's already been encrypted with type seven so I could do this put seven and go put in one that's already existing, in this case, uh, the VTY line up here. If I pop this in, it'll take this because this uh, decodes to Packet Lab VTY, I believe. So it'll take that. So now it's, you know, because that's a legitimate um, type seven password. If I were to do this again, and three, and then go ahead and change one of these. Let's change one of these zeros uh, to a one. It'll take that to, I suppose, well, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that password would be. Let's pop out the internet and find out real quick. Oh, okay, so it changed my A to an at sign. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, I guess the point I was trying to make there is that if you're doing this, you have to put in the exact hexadecimal string or you're gonna get something different. In this case, it was kind of a cool example, but the big takeaway is that you have to use an already encrypted password. If I were to do this again, and let's do four, and instead of changing one of the characters, I'm going to take one out. That's not gonna be enough characters. It's going to give me that error. One other thing to keep in mind here is that if I do, again, fake user four, if I grab a legitimate type seven password, and I put it in here. Now, see what I did wrong here? I put username, fake password, or fake user, and then the password. Now, because I haven't specified anything, iOS thinks that this is a clear text password. So I put in this password that's already been encrypted, 
and hit enter. Well, now if I do a show run, include a fake user. Not on my A game today, guys. Sorry about that. Comes back. What's funny here is you see this is a type 7 password. This is encrypted. This is encrypted. This is not encrypted. So if this user logs in and you're thinking, oh, he's using the same uh, password as fake user 2. I can't remember what that password was. Say it was fake. If he types in fake, he's not going to get on. He has to type in 073F006F6, F6, blah, blah, blah. Keep that in mind. That's, that's good for troubleshooting if you see this and you see something that looks like it should be a decrypted pa or I'm sorry, an, an encrypted password but there's a zero in front of it that's where your problem is and I've seen this problem come up when you're cutting and pasting into a another device where you've started configuring like oh, oh let me go grab the password off of R2 for example and then paste it in there. if you're going to do that be sure to specify the zero or the seven if it, you can specify a five but in that case you would have had secret just make sure that that's in there because that will screw it up okay and then one last thing I want to do is I want to take a legitimate password here so I'm grabbing this fake user too it's uh, encrypted with a type 7 password and I'm gonna jump over to R2 let's just get into configuration I'm gonna do a show run include service that should catch it so you can see that we don't have service password encryption enabled here. What I wanted to show you was that even though you don't have this enabled, you can go ahead and paste. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's what happens when you highlight it here. It automatically copies it. So let's get back over here and try it this way. There we go. What I want to show you is just kind of the reverse of what I showed you earlier. If I do a show run, include password. I've taken an encrypted password and I've thrown it on a configuration with uh, service password encryption not enabled and it still shows up in the running configuration encrypted. So sometimes there can be some confusion. You have no service password encryption enabled. That doesn't mean that you can't store passwords in your configuration that are encrypted. What it means is that any passwords that you configure with a clear text password are going to remain in the configuration with clear text. It's not going to go through and encrypt those for you. That sometimes gets a little bit confusing. Um, you can definitely throw in encrypted passwords. You're going to want to make sure that they are encrypted properly. A lot of times what you're doing is you're cutting and pasting from another device. And that's going to wrap up this lab. Um, use service password encryption on all your devices. There's really no good reason not to use it. Uh, it's going to stop those over-the-shoulder attacks. I haven't worked in a network where they don't have this enabled on all their devices. Thank you for joining me in the Packet Lab, and I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god.